we doing? When it kind of Kevin here with Steve. We have an outstandingly majestic show for you this beautiful Friday morning. <laughs> Up next, we have some Valentine's shout outs because as we all know, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Well, if that didn't put a spicy taste in your mouth, I know what will. Oh, you're talking about wingets. That's right, Kevin. Max Shaw attempted the El Diablo challenge, and well, just check it out for yourself. This is no ordinary chili, and Nandita will be munching on the boot de mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's very hot. Yeah. One it's, is enough. It's very, very hot indeed. So the boot de is also known as the ghost pepper and has been around for many centuries. It's believed to have originated in Assam, India. The word boot was given from the Bhutais people and means ghost. It was probably given the name because of the way heat sneaks up on the one who eats it. As said before, in 2007, the ghost pepper was certified as the hottest pepper in the world by Guinness Book of World Records. Cause the sauce. <laughs>
Yeah. I remember my first hot wing. Didn't you try the challenge? Yeah. I actually managed to eat all 10, but I didn't keep them down for that long, and it was, it was messy. You know what else was messy? The Super Bowl. Oh, don't even get me started on the Super Bowl. Just, just roll the clip. Just roll the clip. Brady's going to launch it deep, and it's incomplete. He's just a little bit behind Welker, trying to reach up behind him. And he, for the moment, avoids the sack, slips away. He's going to launch it deep, and oh, it's going to be intercepted by Chase Blackburn. And on that note, we're going to bring this show to a close, guys. But before you turn off your TV, make sure to watch the credits for a musical performance by Winnicunit's own Chris Cyrus and Nikki Hayden. Stay classy, Winnicunit. Peace. On us, even if the skies get rough, give in.